Okay, what we're going to do now is take these bolts out here and see if we can get this thing out of here and see how that uh, comes out. Check the other bearings. Okay, we got the top off, so it's the first time I've got the top off. But drive legs, pretty easy. We took out these uh, five Allen head bolts, and then that exposed what's going on in here. And we can see the gears are in good shape. That just looks like a piece of dirt on that one. No, no real wear marks or problems, no nicks. And, uh, same thing on the gear down there, the shaft sounds sounds like it's moving pretty smooth, so that's probably pretty good. So we probably ought to pop this out and look at the bearings in this. That's the next thing to do. Looks like I got a cutter pin here and a bolt. Loctite in that thing? Can you tell? Yeah, it's right there. See the weight? Yep. Okay. How do they look in there? Can you tell? Okay, here's the uh, inside of our drive leg skeg. We got the aft fitting where the shaft seals go. And here's the first bearing shaft. There's the uh, gear and the next uh, next bearing. These are beveled gear, uh, bearings in this uh, in this one. Apparently, they changed from uh, roller bearings or some sort of other system to a beveled. So, right in here, a little electrical tape on the shaft just to keep the bearing surface from getting nicked while I'm messing around with it. And we can take it apart. Out comes the uh, back housing for the shaft seals. We'll set that down. And then we'll take a look at the Line. This just pops out right here, so this just comes right out. This whole unit just pops right out. And now we have the shaft with the bearings free. Let's set that down on this piece of paper towel. And we'll take the gear. You can see the bearings on the gear here. No nicks, looks good shape. Okay, here we got the, uh, the fitting on the back for the uh, prop shaft seals. And you can see the prop shaft seals here. Two black rubber rings 
with what appears to be a little spiral spring right in here. And uh, on the shaft, the uh, part number is a Koyo 30206, and it might be a JR or a JB or a TB. The paint is not uh, really very clear, so we'll have to look and see which one is uh, the right number. You can probably find that online without too much trouble. This bearing is, is attached, probably needs to be pulled off if it were to be replaced. Okay, here's a look at the bottom of the drive leg. And you can see the gear here. It spins pretty easily. There's no damage to any of the teeth surface here where one of the bearings sits. The other bearing goes here. A uh, little bit of leftover gasket seal from the original uh, install right here. We're going to pull all this off, clean it up, clean the threads up, make sure the surfaces here are in good shape and clean prior to putting the new instant gasket back on and uh, probably rebuild the rest of the drive leg. One of the things that really helped in getting these bolts out is this thing. This is a breaker bar with the uh, Allen head socket in it. And this just unwound them without really any problems. Okay, what we're doing here is taking out the zinc. And we've got it in the drill press. And what we're doing is we've got a Dremel tool bit here, and we've drilled a couple of holes. And what we're going to do is cut those holes out sideways so we can knock this section of the zinc out and this section of the zinc out. And you can see the, um, the scale in here, which is all built up against the shaft. So that's there you have it. And there we go. We broke off another piece of the old zinc. So that's ready to be pried out. Okay, here's the uh, zinc pieces of it after it was cut out. There's a lot of solid metal here. The problem is that this inner edge grows up out towards the shaft, and that was uh, that was hitting the shaft. So you can see the scale on it. It had to be cut out in about four little separate sections. Um, and then, and then knocked away from the wall. So there was definitely uh, very little contact here for protection. The zinc, zinc definitely needed replaced. The water had seeped down in the side where the zinc had been pressed in. And uh, no, not really much damage though to the actual housing from uh, any corrosion. So that's pretty good. A couple little nicks from where the drill and cutter went. We'll fill those back in and uh, probably press another um, zinc right down into the into the hole. Should work pretty good. Okay, we just slipped the shaft back through the bearing. Uh, we're going to put the uh, shaft piece uh, up in there once we get some uh, instant gaskets spread around.